This is the Business of Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. I'm excited about my friend here today, Derek Stone, an entrepreneur, musician, author. I like him already. His new book is Why Should I Forgive? And it's a, uh, it's a big topic, man. It's a heavy topic, and it's something that's not easy to write about. And I'm glad that you did. Derek, thanks for spending a few minutes with us today. Derek, thanks for having me, man. I really appreciate it. It's an honor. Talk to me about forgiveness and tell me kind of the premise of this book. So what happened was, is uh, when I when I did over a million dollars in revenue in my business, I was blown away and I was so grateful that I kept looking back to see what it was that triggered my journey to success. And one of that was, uh, all those roads pointed back to these two scenarios that happened. And one was the first one that led to everything else was that I went to a conference and long story short, I got to this conference and and this guy was talking about forgiveness versus bitterness. And I realized that I was just a bitter dude living behind this facade, man. I was a party looking for a place to happen. And, and you know, everything was good on the outside, but man, I was eating myself alive with just shame and, and hate and anger and resentment. And, and so um, I chose to, at this conference, um, I chose to forgive my dad because I wanted to know what a real dad was like. And uh, and you'll have to check the book out. I don't want to give it away, but yeah, you'll, you'll check the book out to talk about what happened in that scenario at that conference. And um, when I got up from the floor, two hours of crying, just being broken, forgiving my mom, my, my abuser, my dad, because I thought it was my dad's place to be there to protect me from that stuff. And, um, and so, and so that's, it just kind of like, that's that's where my blame went. It was him. So, um, so ever since I got up that day one is I didn't feel like the need to, to nurse that facade anymore. It was gone. It was, it was, it was gone. I could, I could be me. I could, I could live who I wanted to be. And, and this is what it was. The other thing was, is that I realized I just, I wasn't, I didn't have this burden anymore. I had been carrying this burden around forever. And um, I didn't, I didn't have it anymore. It was it just wasn't there. And so that freedom, and then I started praying that God would restore that relationship between me and my dad. And six years later, so we're fast forwarding, six years later, he calls me up in the middle of nowhere and says, hey, look, uh, I don't want to be known as somebody who walked out on the kids. And I want to be involved in your life and in my grandkids' life. And, and I want to ask you if you'll forgive me for the way I've treated you guys for the past 10 years. And um, I put a big smile on my face and, and said, you know, Dad, I, I, I forgive you a long time ago, but I've been praying for this day. And then we started doing stuff together. We started, you know, going on hunting trips and and and, and things like that. I went to Thanksgiving and we do that, try to do that every other year. And, and then um, this one Christmas, I think it was 2013, before I quit the music business, but my business was doing so well. We had a new house, two new cars, a new baby. <laughs> I mean, it was like all this cool stuff was happening, you know. And um, my dad was coming down to Christmas to spend Christmas in Mississippi because we were all headed that way. All the kids were kind of centrally located. So because um, my sister was coming up from Mobile. Well, when I got in the door, my mom pulled me aside. She, her master is right inside the front door. The master is immediate to the right. She pulled me inside the door and she goes, they're all crying and they're hurt. And they think he's coming to see you. And and they pulled me in and they, it, she pulled me aside and she goes, they want to know why you're so different. And, and I looked her straight in the face and I said, mom, the difference between me and them is that I chose to forgive and they haven't. And she looked at me like I'd just given her the destination of where buried treasure was buried. <laughs> and, um, wow. and, and said, you know, you're right. And ever since then, on that way home, I talk about the first chapter. I talk about my place, which is a place where you go to just kind of get by yourself and, and deal with your inner junk. Derek Champagne here. Hey, if you're feeling isolated right now, if this health scare has got you working remotely or you're feeling uncertain, I want to invite you to check out my mastermind. Come join us. It's DerekChampagneMastermind.com. 